then have to do with adding fractions. We know that when we add fractions, we have to have a common denominator. We do. What we want to realize is if there is a negative out in front, we have to distribute it. So what we want to think about is like this, one big problem. 8a is my denominator. And I'm going to have a minus sign, 6a minus 10x. And then I have a minus sign and 8a plus 7x. So I put the minus and then I put parentheses around my tops. Now I have to get rid of those parentheses by using my distributive property. So this would be negative 6a and then a negative and a negative make that a positive 10x. This would be negative 8a and a negative and a positive make that negative 7x. Then I'm going to combine my like terms. Negative 8a, or negative 6a minus 8a would be negative 14a. Positive 10x minus 7x is a positive 3x. All over my 8a. Now the only way I can simplify that is if all three terms are divisible by the same thing. They're not, so I can't reduce it down any without separating that into two separate fractions, which we're not going to do. But you do have to be careful when you type this in. Notice where this negative is. It's up on top with the 14. It's not in front of the fraction. So when you type it in, I suggest you hit the fraction thing first, then type the top in separately so that the negative doesn't end in front. It, it ends up on the top with the 14 because that's where it's supposed to be. So just watch for that when you type it in. Because normally if you type negative 14a and you hit fraction, the negative stays in front but we, we need it on the top. Okay. Okay, so hit the fraction button first and then type in the top and the bottom. All right, so number 14, same thing. My denominator is 5a. This one has a minus sign in front, and so in parentheses, 4a minus 2b. This one has a plus sign in front, in parentheses, 8a minus 7b. So, Getting rid of our parentheses, what would we have up on top? We're going to have a negative 4a mm -hmm. and a positive 2b. Yep. And then we're going to have a positive 8a yep. and a negative 7b. Exactly. So now combining my like terms, I'm going to get negative 4a. Do that again. Mm, negative 4 plus 8. Is a positive, positive right? Because yep. I have to have the sign of the larger. So positive 4a. Uh, Negative 5. Negative 5b over, over 5a. 5a. And again, I can't reduce this down because I have to divide all three of them by the same thing and all three of them don't have anything in common. This would be a 10a, then I could reduce them all down by 5. But in this case, can't reduce it. Just going to leave that for my answer. Okay. Are they going to have some of that on there? Yes, or they will. Uh, on occasion. It won't happen a lot. But on occasion, they will have one, just for fun, before we do 15. They might have something like this. You might get 3a minus 6b over 9a, where all of your numbers can be reduced. If that happens, you're going to say, oh, 3 goes into here once, into here two times, and into there three times. So in simplest form, I would have a minus 2b over 3a. Won't happen a lot, but it is something you need to watch for because the directions do say simplify as much as possible. So if all three of my numbers are divisible by the same thing, I'm going to reduce it.
15. Last one on this page then. What should we do to start that one out? Parentheses because they're both positive, right? So we're gonna have the 8c minus 11 d yep. and then we're gonna have minus in between oh. 6c minus 6d, right? So we're just putting parentheses around the tops of those fractions, and if there's any signs in front, bringing them up because then we have to distribute. <laughs> and so now this one didn't have any sign in front which means I can just get rid of my parentheses, it's really a plus, but 8c minus 11d, right? Nothing I have to do to that one. But the other one has that minus sign in front, so we're going to write that as? Negative 6c plus 6d. Exactly. We have to change those signs since there's a minus in front. Now we can combine our like terms. Six would be a positive two C, mm -hmm. and negative eleven plus six would be a negative five. Negative five D over four C. And again, I can't reduce that one because all three of my terms are not divisible by the same thing. So that's going to be my answer as simplified as I can do it. All right. So that'll be the next.